how's it going? My name is Pratham and you are watching my channel Pratham R17 YouTube. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Da Vinci Plus probe and Virtus Orbiter to the Venus. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So, let's first talk about the Da Vinci Plus probe. So, Da Vinci Plus which stands for Deep Atmosphere Venus Investigation of Noble Gases, Chemistry and Imaging Plus is a planned mission for an atmospheric probe to Venus. If lost out to Psyche and Lucy in 2015 round of proposals for NASA's Discovery Program, it was proposed again on 1st July 2019 and shortlisted on February 2020. On 2nd June 2021, DaVinci Plus was selected and funded by the Discovery Program. DaVinci Plus will study the chemical composition of Venus's atmosphere during descent. The DaVinci Plus probe will travel to the the Notion atmosphere sampling the air and returning measurements down to the surface. These measurements are important to understand the origin of the atmosphere, how it has evolved and how and why it is different from those of Earth and Mars. Da Vinci Plus's measurements will reveal the history of water on Venus and the chemical processes at work in the unexplored lower atmosphere. Before it reaches the surface, the Da Vinci Plus probe will take the first ever photos of the planet's intriguing rated terrain to explore its origin and tectones, volcanoes and weathering history. Following five orbital missions to Venus, Venera 15, Venera 16, Magellan, Venus Express, and Akatsuki focused on remote sensing observation, DaVinci Plus will be the first probe since the Soviet Vega probe in 1985 to target Venus's atmosphere. DaVinci Plus will directly make the measurements in the lower two-thirds of the atmospheric mass. Da Vinci Plus scientists will explore how Venus's atmosphere formed and when changed over time, including what happened to its water. The findings will help scientists understand why Venus and Earth to such different parts as they matured and provide another point of comparison for studies of rocky exoplanets. So let's talk about the Veritas Orbiter. So the Veritas which stands for Venus Emissivity Radio Science ENSA Topography and Spectroscopy is an upcoming mission from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory JPN to map with high resolution the surface of planet Venus. The combinations of topography, near infrared spectroscopy, and radar image data will provide knowledge of Venus's tectonic and impact history, gravity, geochemistry, the timing and mechanism of volcanic resurfacing and the mantle process responsible for them. Veritas was one of dozens of proposals submitted in 2015 to potentially become mission 13 of NASA's discovery program with Sijan Smreker of NASA's JPL to serve as the principal investigator and JPL to manage the project. On 
September 30, 2015, Veritas was sub selected as one of five finalists. On 4 January 2017, two proposals to study small bodies, Lucy and Psyche, were selected as the 13th and 14th discovery missions, respectively. Veritas was again proposed for the discovery program in 2019 and was selected for Phase A funding on 13 February 2020. On 2nd June 2021, it was selected along with Da Vinci Plus to fly as one of the next discovery missions. Veritas attempt to determine if Venus hosted ancient aqueous environment. Also, current data are highly subjective to recent and active volcanism and this mission would determine if current volcanism is limited to mantle plume heads or is more widespread. High resolution imagery would be obtained by using an X-brand radar configured as a single pass infrometric synthetic appearant radar INSAR coupled with a multispectral near infrared emissive mapping capability. Veritas would map surface topography with spatial resolution of 250 meters and 5 meters vertically accurately and general radar imagery with 30 meter spital resolution. The spacecraft's communication system will also be used to perform a gravity science experiment to investigate variations in Venus's gravitational field. The spacecraft's telecom system will be used to map gravity strength at Venus's surface providing uniform resolution of better than 160 kilometers. The data will provide an estimate of Venus's core size and information about topographic features that lie underneath the planet's surface. So that's it for today guys. If you like this kind of space videos, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, 10 likes for a new one, maybe on the Lucy probe or the Psyche probe. Turn on the notification bell to stay updated for these videos. Follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server for discussion for my future videos. The links will be provided in the description. So until the next video, stay tuned.